I'm about to show you how we made AI UGC that looks like this with AI B-roll. None of this is real, but they're holding the product and it looks pretty decent. So let us begin. All right, so this tweet went absolutely ballistic showing you guys how we make B-roll from AI UGC footage that looks like this originally, because as we know, the best AI UGC platform is Arcas. I've used them all. Arcas has the best one. I mean, just literally look at this. I used to love hosting dinner parties, but then I caught a glimpse of myself in my... Come on now. There's literally no competition. However, the problem is they can't hold your product. So if you sell some kind of medication, supplement, they don't, they, they can't hold it. It doesn't work like that. So I'm going to show you live how we basically turned a UGC video like this into I'm this. I'm not going to lie. I thought my friend Sarah was getting Botox or something because her skin always looked so smooth, but I just found her secret. What we're going to do first is find a screenshot of the person best we can getting all their features, eyes, face shape, etc. something like this. And we're going to take a nice screenshot. Next, we're going to go to chat GPT. And this only works now with the new chat GPT 4.0. And we're going to paste the image of her. And we're also going to paste the image of a product. I'm going to use this product, which is one of our clients. And I'm going to give it the following prompt. Create an image where this exact person is holding the supplement bottle. Replace what is in her hand with it. Maintain a consistent style as the original photo of the girl. And that's generating. Us, us. Oh my goodness, I got lucky. They generated two. Let's go. Uh, now they do sometimes, they change the way the person looks and it does matter a lot with what you give her. So you see in this original image that I gave her, her mouth was kind of open. So you can see it kind of keeps it consistent. But I would say the one on the right looks a lot more like her. So I'm going to just click, I prefer this response. Okay, so now we have the photo of her. We're now going to generate some videos using Sora, which if you don't know on Sora, you can literally create insane looking videos. The only problem is that Sora sometimes doesn't get it right. You can see sometimes you, you give a, a specific prompt and it just, it just looks a bit weird. So what we're going to do is we're going to now upload the photo that we gave them, which was this one, and say we're going to make it 916. We're going to ask for four variations, uh, 10 seconds, 480p is enough, to be honest, this is quite high quality. So we're going to do static video showing person holding product and smiling and we're going to press enter and that's going to generate that you want to ideally generate loads of footage of her so that you can use as b-roll so for example what will she be doing she might be looking at the mirror she might be in this case because it's a beauty product she might it because this is a supplement so might be taking some supplements and whilst this is getting made we're now going to do another one which is make an image of this girl her hand with some pills nine by 16 size and then so now whilst sora is being generated the image is also being generated and this is kind of the the, the ping pong back and forth you want to be having so that you're efficient with it and you can see now we basically have the same girl but she's now holding the pills in her hand so we're going to basically keep generating lots of different images like this, then bring them into Sora. And I'm going to just kind of fast forward this so we don't waste time loading images slowly like it's 2002. And whilst we're waiting, why don't you click the link down below to book a call with us so we can actually audit your ad account to see what's going on, why your creators aren't working and give you some ideas for some concepts that you can be doing. Now, here's one thing to take in mind that if you give Sora too many instructions is actually going to be worse for you. For example, here, I have this, this uh, image generated of the girl kind of pointing up and I want, and I told the prompt, it was make this girl point up at the sky, the camera movement is static and a bunch of other shit, right? But if you see the video, the camera just starts doing random BS that it's, it's really, it's really annoying. And even if I tell it to stay static, not move, for example, here, animate this video, just keep the camera still and have her finger pointing up. Even if you do that, she does like, she even changes. <laughs> it's, just, it's really strange, right? Like this is cool, but yeah, this is not what I wanted, right? So instead you just upload the image by itself and you get, actually get a better result. So you can see here, these two results are a lot better because she's actually like stationary. I have her fingers go from down to up. The same thing here. 
with this girl on her phone. I literally just put the image and I just ha- I just made the image a video, right? It didn't make it too complicated. Same same thing here. Uh, it got the image of the reflection that I generated and I just made it real, although it kind of goes a bit crazy here. You'll see, I don't know why her earphones are. Yeah, it, gets, it, gets, it becomes a magic trick. <laughs> Ultimately, the less information you give, the better the videos become, right? So just thought I'd let you guys know, Try to give it too too much prompting on Sora. Sora's just kind of it's just kind of doing random shit at the moment. Now I will say I know you love AI, but you do have to kind of use your brain a little bit. So the way that I did it was I just read through the hooks that we had and essentially created an image based on the hook. So I'm not gonna lie, I thought my friend Sarah was getting Botox or something. So that could be her kind of like on her phone, maybe even pointing up at her friend Sarah who's looking very pretty. If you look in the mirror and see other version of yourself, it will affect your confidence. So that was supposed to be this one here. So yeah, that's kind of what it looks like when you go from image to video. So now I'm going to compile these all and I'm going to put it in a UGC video so you know what it looks like. All right, so I'm on CapCut just because like I couldn't be bothered to give it to the team. So I just decided to do it myself. Now CapCut, you can see I got all the B-roll here, like all the videos that was generated earlier of her. We got tons and tons of to do. Now here's just a very simple <laughs> hook that I came up with in like 25 minutes. Uh, just to show you, so let me play it. I'm not gonna lie, I thought my friend Sarah was getting Botox or something because her skin always looked so smooth, but I just found her secret. That's it, like that's literally it. By the way, if you're wondering how did the FaceTime, uh, well the images I basically found these two AI UGC girls, I said make a 916 selfie at the park. I added a little bit of a filter so it looked like a photo. Found an image on FaceTime of this. And I basically <laughs> put the girl <laughs> there and there. And then I took it to Sora and on Sora it generated it did it did something, right? It did something it was it was pretty it was pretty average, but like it's enough, you know? And yeah, I just put it on Capca. Like I had some variations in what this section here was going to look like. You can just experiment because I also did this. Her skin always looked so smooth, but I just found her secret. If you and I think it's going to get easier and easier and faster and faster. So you need to catch up with this. Follow me on Twitter if you want some information and send me the stuff that you create. But most importantly, now that's all great, but you still need to learn how to write good scripts. Otherwise, this is just visual noise. So for that reason, click this video up here and I'll show you exactly how to write your own scripts. If you want done for you ad creators or we have a full system of this for your brand, then click the link in the description down below and I'll see you there. Peace.